welcome to another lecture of our data structure playlist today we are going to learn array deletion okay that is deletion from array so i have already taught you how to create an array how to enter data and show them from an array and also how to insert any value in a given position into an array okay so if you want to know that please check my previous videos today we are going to take uh, an value as an input from user and if the value is present in our array then we are going to delete it today we are going to take a position from our user as an input and if this position is inside our array limits then we are going to delete the element in that position so suppose this is our array with five elements 10 20 30 40 and 50 so its size is n so suppose user gives position equals to 2 then we are going to delete the element at position 2 so position 2 means first position second position that is index 2 minus 1 that is 1 ok so index is always position minus 1 so position 2 means index 1 so we are going to delete that element in index 1 that is element number 20 so if we just delete it then this array will not be a contiguous allocation so we already know that array is a contiguous allocation so we need to shift these numbers which is after the given element which we are deleting we need to shift them one step towards the left just like we were shifting them one side one step towards right for insertion for deletion we are shifting them towards left okay so this 10 remains same because this is uh, before our given position and this 30 40 and 50 is shifting towards left by one position okay so see from where the shifting start the shifting is starting from this index which we are deleting that is position minus one index so if, uh, when we are going to use the for loop our i is going to start from position minus one and up to which value this uh, shifting is done so this shifting is done up to this uh, three index three so what is this three it is less than size minus one so this was less than size okay and this is less than size minus one so this shifting is going to occur up to i less than size minus 1 so why we are uh, having i less than size minus 1 not i less than size because there is no a other element here to shift it for uh, to here okay so the shifting will always occur up to less than size minus 1 so now let's check the code suppose uh, what we are going to do first first uh, just like every program I, I have already shown you uh, we need to take the array as an input from user after that we will going to ask the user that the which position the user wants to delete ok so the position is given by the user and the index is always position minus 1 ok so the user is giving us the position not the index always remember that so now check if the index is valid so what do you mean by index is valid or not so a array index always starts from 0 and always ends before the given size ok so if the size is given as n then it will always be 0 less than equals to uh, index i less than n ok so that is the index uh, validation check so if the index uh, or the uh, position given by the user is not uh, inside this limit then we just print an error message so but if it is a valid index to delete then we, the deletion part comes from here the deletion part starts ok so what we do we replace every node from the given index with their next node so what is the given index the given index is the what is the user is giving us so from the given index towards the last node what we do we just replace them with their next nodes ok so from position minus 1 to size minus 1 ok so from i equals to position minus 1 to i less than size minus 1 uh, this is a for loop will go so see here i have already written the for loop so for i equals to position minus 1 and i less than n minus 1 i plus plus so see uh, here if we uh, just shift it from the position towards the end 
it is going correct because uh, in the insertion part we needed to uh, start the uh, for loop from the end but for here we do not need that from here we can just start it from the given position and in, um, traverse the array at increasing order okay so now what is happening inside the for loop we are storing the next elements value in the ith element that is we are shifting the elements one bit towards left so array of i will be array of i plus 1 okay so when the i will become n minus 1 so array of n minus 1 will become array of n minus 1 plus 1 that is array of n okay so this will then give us error so that's why we are using less than not less than equals to now let's check the code and try to understand the code so first as always we are just taking an array input that is the size of the array we are asking from the user then we are asking the array elements from the user then we are as assigning and creating the array so that's you already know if you have watched my previous video now we are asking from the user to give the position of the element which they want to delete and we are scanning that position in a variable pos now you will check if the index given by the user is valid or not so the index is what uh, index is position minus one the value of the index should be uh, equals to or greater than zero and less than n that is the size of the array so the index we are replacing the index here with pause minus one so the pause minus one will be always greater than equal to zero and uh, it will always be less than n so see now we are checking so if this is correct if this is correct that means our index given by user is valid so if the index is valid then we are going to delete the element so we are going to perform the deletion so see delete the given element and now we are just using the same for loop and the for loop is going from uh, i equals to pause minus 1 to i less than n minus 1 and we are increasing this by 1 and we are replacing them to the left side and if the condition inside the if block is failed then the s part will get printed so what is in the else part that the position given by the user is invalid okay so if the position given by the user that is the index is not uh, greater than or equals to zero and less than n that is the size of the array then it is giving us that invalid position and after the deletion is completed we are just going to print the array for printing the array the loop will run from i equals to 0 to i less than n minus 1 so the loop will run one less time because one element is being deleted so it will have one less size we are giving the same input as the example we are taking in both copy and code so the array is 10 20 30 40 50 and the position we want to delete let's suppose it is 2 okay so the number 20 will be deleted so now the array is 10 30 40 50 so that's it so now let's check what uh, if we want to search if an element is present in an array or not and if it is present we want to print its location so again we are taking the same array 10 20 30 40 and 50 so what we do we just check every element of the array and uh, see if it is equal to the uh, value which the user is going to search then if it is not inside our array or if it is not uh, in our array then we print an error message that it is not in our array but if it is inside our array we just store the index into our variable and print that location okay so let's see the code so first we have two va new variables here okay so whatever we are doing till now it, it will be similar just we have two new variables that one is location and another is flag and we are using this flag to check that if it is present inside our array or it is not present inside our array okay so this flags initial value is zero so whenever we are going to get our value that is when if the value is present in our array then we will make this flag as one okay so let's check the code so inside the for loop this thing will this thing from the if loop this will occur inside a for loop where we are going to traverse the array from i equals to 0 to i less than n okay so inside a for loop traverse the array so we are going to traverse the array inside a for loop and check if we can find the given value 
so this check part i have written only i have not written the for loop this whole uh, if from if to this part will be inside the for loop okay so let's see so if array of i so i is value will start from zero is equal to equal to value given by the user so if array of i that is the first value if the first value is equal to the value given by the user then we are assigning the value of i to our location variable and we are making the flag as one okay so this way if it is not then we are going to the next element then if it is also not our given value then we are going to the next element so we are checking the whole array one by one whenever we are finding that it is our values location then we are storing that index in our location variable and we are making the flag as one and after that in our code we will going to see that if uh, we are going to use a if else block if the flags value is one we print the location of the element uh, but if the flag value is zero that means no element inside our array matches the given value by the user so the value given by the user is not inside our array so we'll just print that that value is not inside array so let's see the codes so see just like our previous example we have just uh, taking the array size and array elements from user and we are creating an array so after that we are asking the user to give the elementor value which we are need to search okay so we are asking the user to give the value of the element which we need to search so now we are scanning the value of the element given by the user in a variable that is num or number variable and along with the number variable we have two other variables also here that is the pause this pause will be the location of our uh, founded element if it is present then we are going to print it and there is another variable that is flag and we have initialized it with zero so e the flag will help us to know that if the element given by the user is actually present or not okay so the fact initial value is zero if we found the element in any location then we will make the flag as one so that we can check later okay so mm, we are just traversing the array one by one from the start that is from index i equal to zero to the end that is index i less than size okay and we inside the traversing for loop we are having a if else block so if uh, the array of i okay so the array of i means the every element we are checking i is in increasing from zero to less than size so uh, we are checking every element one by one okay so we are uh, checking that if any element in the array is equals to our given number by user so if it this condition satisfies that means the number given by the user is inside our array so then we just store the indexes value inside our position variable okay so we are assigning the value uh, to our uh, in initial variable location as i plus 1 okay so i is what i is the index and i plus 1 is the location so we all know the array index starts from 0 so we are always take that location is index plus 1 so i am also taking here location equals to i plus 1 so now the uh, location of the variable is stored in log variable if the variable is present okay so i have uh, initialized the variable as pause in the starting so i will just change it to log i will just change the name of the pause variable to log that is our location so also inside our if block when we are assigning the location to our location variable we are also as, uh, making our flag variable one okay so this flag equals to one means the element is found and we are breaking out of the for loop so once we found our element we no, do not need to search it uh, for all the other positions in the array we are just uh, breaking out of the for loop so this means we have found our array and we have stored the value in our position or location variable and we are uh, making the flag variable as one so now the searching part is done now the printing part is remaining okay so we are checking so if the flag is equals to one so flag is equals to one means what this means the element we are searching is found and we are making the flag as one inside the if block when we are finding the element so if flag equals to one this means the element is found so we are just going to print the location we have found 
okay so we are writing the element is found at location and we are just going to print the give location where we found the element and in the else block we are going to print that the element the user given us to search is not present inside our array so the element is not found so now let's run it and see so we are just again taking the same array input as our all examples 10 20 30 14 50 I am intentionally giving a value 25 which is not present in our array so see that is the error message element not found now I am taking another array of size 4 10 20 30 40 and I am going to search the element 30 and its position is 3 so see the element is found at location 